What's up? Welcome back. It's me, Jose Alfredo Ra. So today is Sunday, right? The day of the sun, even though it's kind of cloudy here on the East Coast. But it's November 14th, right? So let's get into these messages for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, right? You like the consistency, I'm back at it. So, if you have placement in any one of these water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, there will potentially be some messages here for you, all right? Check out the About section, so you can follow me on TikTok, Jose Alfredo underscore Ra. All right, let's get into this. So, in the background, we have a little bit of a Ganesha mantra playing, right? So let's open up the doors, please. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, 11, 14, 2021. Okay, what do we feel like is around, or what is around, and what is the energy right now? Right, to share with Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, the water signs. Saturn wisdom, all right? First one is Saturn wisdom. Look at this. There we go, all right? So we know that Saturn, actually, I'm gonna put it right here. So we know Saturn brings wisdom, right? It brings discipline, it brings structure. Those are the other three cards that came out. Saturn puts things in front of you, right? So that you can learn from it. A person, a job, any new experience, right? It's teaching you something. Um, Saturn also controls traditions and a way of being, right? So also, as you go through these experiences and through these like trials and challenges, right? You gain the wisdom. That's what Saturn is bringing you. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So now we have seventh house and cancer popping up here. Cancer, right, the dola. And we have the seventh house energy with relating, which is all Libra energy, right? It's about relationships and bringing harmony in relationships. Um, and then we have Virgo, the alchemist. So very interesting. So water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. For some of you, you may have placement in Virgo. Some of you, you may have um, Libra placement, right? So these two cards right now, Saturn and Wisdom, right, coming out here, is definitely telling me that for some of you, uh, water signs in the Cancer, you need to focus on self-care right now because with some relationships or connections that you experience, you have gained a sense of importance and understanding that your value, your self-care is just as important in a connection, right? It truly is important in a connection. And when you give yourself to any type of relationship, um, you cannot lose yourself in that process, okay? For Virgo, the alchemist, right? This is creating like rituals, right? For self-care, this is like creating rituals that are very practical in your day-to-day -day life that ensure that you're taking care of yourself, right? Um, this is also getting into that energy of being like the green witch, right? Or like the herbalist, right? Focusing more on, um, I was going to say homeopathic, right? I think that's how you say it. But like natural forms of medicine, right? Natural ways of taking care of yourself. And seventh house energy with relating partnerships and connections. Again, um, it also tells me that Cancer, Scorpion, Pisces you are definitely someone who's looking for the most organic, natural relationships and connections, right? All right, so very interesting energy right there. I love it. Uh, 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 uh. So first card out was the strongest, which was the wisdom. But self-care is very important with that Cancer card, okay? All right, so next for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, right? What we have here, 11 14 2021. What can we share with them? We're already mid. There we go. Two of Pentacles, right? There you go. This is bringing a balance into your life, bringing a balance into your energy with the Two of Pentacles, right? Let me just bring it back a little bit so you can get to see some of the cards. Exactly. Two of Pentacles, right? Giving and receiving. That's the receptive energy, right? Whatever you give out, you should receive that same amount in return. What's next for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? All right. What do we have here next for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, right? The Chariot. 
the chariot and the nine of pentacles okay so this is some strong energy this also shows me that once you get yourself into a position where you bring balance into your energetic right day-to-day -day routine right when you get both feet planted on solid ground because you also have the virgo card right we know virgo is an earth sign very practical the perfectionist right they like to follow a structure and stick to it because it gives them um it just makes it a lot easier right and you know you already have to focus on self-care right there now also there is some wisdom to gain in certain relationships around you but the most important relationship is the relationship that you have with yourself cancer scorpio and pisces okay so once you get this balance with this energy of the chariot, you know that you're going to be moving forward, right? And this is, again, balancing out the duality of things, the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine, right? What they consider to be like the light and the dark aspect, like or your sun and your moon aspect, right? This is moving forward, right? Into this position of the nine of pentacles. Actually, the seven of pentacles. So this is saying you're going to be moving forward, and then and with the seven of pentacles, you're going to be noticing that like very soon it's going to be time for you to start collecting the things that you've planted, right? Because with the two of pentacles, right? And the seven, you get the nine. This chariot is definitely moving forward with confidence and strength. This is that emperor energy, Mars action energy, right? Very passionate, very strong energy here. The High Priestess at the bottom of the deck says, definitely trust your intuition, plus you have the Cancer card, right? So there could be things un hidden from you at this current moment that you're not seeing, but you're tapping into. Knight of Cups, right? So this is someone with water sign energy, or this could be your energy, um, ready to move towards something new. Page of Cups at the bottom, right there, definitely someone has some communication to give towards you, right? I feel like for some of you, there is quite possibly a connection with an earth sign energy here, right? That you gain some type of wisdom or some type of understanding in that connection that you had with them. You're looking for the uh, for for the connection to, to really start to manifest some reciprocity, right? To really start to receive like that balance in it. And you wanna somehow move forward for some of you, but it has been a waiting game. It has been a game, it has been a sense of like waiting very patiently, doing, as much as you can to tend to the connection and someone's gonna be moving forward with this knight of cups it could be you it could be them but someone definitely is going to be moving forward right and the page of cups says and communication will be coming in okay and with that high priestess that came out before definitely intuitively you could either be connected to them very strongly um, you also could be they could be on your mind um, they could also be with the Cancer card and the High Priestess. They could also be coming and manifesting in your dreams, okay? All right, what do we have next here for Cancer Scorpio and Pisces? Today is 11-14-2021. What's the next messages to support for the Two of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups? What do we have here? And we have two sevens. We have seventh house and we have the seven of pentacles, right? There we go. Two cards out. Very, very good cards, right? We have the princess of pentacles and the judgment card, the higher calling, right? So the higher calling with the judgment card and the princess of pentacles. Either way you see it. So, this is rising to the occasion. This is hearing the call of the universe. God, goddess, source, you know, angels, guides, or like orishas, deities, whatever you believe in, whatever you connect with. It's just that higher source, soul, energy, right? The judgment is saying someone's waking up from some type of slumber and they're understanding that there is a higher purpose for them, right? They're understanding that there is something more out there. There's something that they need to strive for and it's a sense of elevation, right? And it could be in the connections and the relationships that you have, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But this elevation, this judgment card, right? This call, this higher understanding, 
right? Is going to lead to this new opportunity right here with the Princess of Pentacles, right? This is gaining a new sense, right? Because this is a new energy. This is gaining that new sense of like, I'm ready to invest into something, right? Investing into the new. Remember, look, there's that red and that yellow, high confidence, strength and passion. There's also that trail that leads right through the green pastures, which is abundance and prosperity leading through to the sun, which is illumination, which is that Leo energy, which is a brighter day, a brighter period of time, like a rebirth on your way, investing into something new. Plus, we already have a two of pentacles and we have a seven of pentacles, okay? So something new is going to be manifesting for you. Either or. All right, what do we have here for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? Two more cards. Done. Look at this. Okay, so Queen of Swords is coming out. Very fitting for that 7th house energy, Libra. So somebody could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody could have Libra qualities right now, okay? And with the Queen of Swords, we understand this is a person that has... This is a person who has mental clarity. This is someone who has intelligence. This is someone who knows how to communicate effectively, right? But this is also someone who is guarded and who will release anything that is not fitting for them, right? With that Queen of Swords. So this Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords definitely says that you have been sitting and waiting. You know that you've put in all the effort that is needed, right? For the things that you want to manifest in your life, right? You've put in that effort, that time, the energy, and you're, you're willing to sit there and wait. You've been through a transformation because there's butterflies around there, right? Those are messengers, but that's also a transformation. And you are willing to wait until the right opportunity manifests for you with this Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups. You see, there you go. You have a Knight of Cups and a Two of Cups. This is your second two, okay? We have the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So for some of you, Cancer, Scorpion, Pisces, you are moving forward, understanding that like you have full control over your, your relationships, right? You have a better understanding of your relationships. You know that it's a good time right now. This is telling me it's a good time right now for you to focus on yourself, focus on your self-care, Focus on your elevation because you will attract, right, anyone based on where you are energetically, right? Where you resonate at. And the Empress card here, again, Taurus Leo energy, so earth sign and air sign energy. But you have a lot of creativity within you right now. There, you're in a certain place where when you're sitting in this energy of the Empress and the Queen of Swords... It's like you're in a, a good, comfortable position in your life. You can manifest what you want, what you need, right? Because this is creation energy, right? This is also having that sense of... That sense of, I was going to say, elegance and being poised, right? And understanding how you carry yourself with a sense of royalty, right? With a sense of respect, right? All right, so... What do we have here next for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, right? Let's cut through the line. Get them their last four messages, please, for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Right? 11, 14, 2021. 20, you know that. Let's clarify these right here. Two twos and two sevens, all right? The next messages, please, for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Flip over all the way you can. There you go. Okay. <laughs> the emperor came out in reverse and we have the empress over here right so first with that two of pentacles and the judgment card we have the ace of pentacles definitely telling you listen it's coming for you right the universe is going to be bringing you a new opportunity something for you to invest in we go from the ace of the pentacles to the two of pentacles to the seven of pentacles okay so something new will be there for you. It's either you're going to be learning something new that you can utilize this new skill, right? Or this asset to allow for more growth within your life. Because you have the empress here. This is about growth, right? This is like being pregnant with life, with new creation within you. <laughs> and then at the bottom of that was the ace of wands. So, you know, the ace of wands is that impregnating energy, right? That's like... Um, if you kind of understand it, it's like being divinely impregnated, right? With passion, with desire, with creativity, with 
manifestation, right? The ability to manifest is within you right now. Not literally, <laughs> but yes. And then the chariot and then the emperor in coming out, right? It came out in reverse, but still, this is moving forward. And then this is definitely ha being in that divine masculine energy, right? This is uh, Aries energy for sure. But this, again, this is someone who takes action, right? When they know, when they know. Like, this is someone who takes action when they are ready, right? They know when to make their moves. And the Six of Swords, with that Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, the Six of Swords says, like, messengers, right, are guiding you towards a calmer situation, to calmer waters. It's a time for you to, to, to probably take a trip, right, and move towards a new direction. You're being guided somewhere new. The tower moment at the bottom of the deck right there definitely says there's going to be some changes coming through. Final message, right? What's the final message for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pi Pisces, right? What do we have here? What's the last one, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. The last one, if we can, please. One more. Thank you. Thank you. Look. Tower. All right? You saw that. The tower card. There's going to be a change coming for you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And this could be very well a change in how you feel, how you express love, how you receive love, how you give love, and how someone comes towards you with that same type of energy. Because we have the Two of Cups, which is the mirroring, right? The mirroring. Seeing each other eye to eye. Seeing each other energetically, right? Heart to heart. And this is going to change. This is going to come shocking with this Tower card, okay? At the bottom of the deck, King of Wands, right? We've got a lot of fire sign energy. We have a lot of fire sign energy right here. This person could be coming in very passionate, very desirable, very confident, right? Maybe in their ego a little bit because they probably have some sense of swag. This is that Leo energy. But we also have an Emperor here and an Empress energy, right? So this could be you, this could be them. But definitely, it's there. It's coming. Right? And I feel like just get ready because that opportunity is coming for you. All right. So, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, this was your collective message for today. All right. If the messages resonate for you, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, comment, like. All right. I'll see you all next week. Bye.